Okay, so we're back. And um, what can I say, man? The wages of simping is death. The wages of simping is death. Let's get into it. OnlyFans star Courtney Clenny is seen covered in blood being questioned by cops next to two dogs moments after stabbing her boyfriend to death in their Miami apartment. Covered in the blood of the boyfriend she stabbed to death, OnlyFans model Courtney Clenny has been seen shivering on the balcony of her Miami apartment while being interviewed by police in a harrowing new video. Clenny, 25, known on the subscription service as Courtney Taylor, stabbed her boyfriend, Christian Abunseli, in the shoulder amid a struggle at their Miami condominium on Sunday, police said. Abunseli, 27, was rushed to a nearby hospital where he died from his injuries. This is... This. The influencer has not been formally charged in her boyfriend's death was hospitalized over mental health concerns after making suicidal threats while in police custody. Police said her current condition remains unknown. Investigators are working to determine if Clenny, whose neighbor alleges was abused by Albinselli, acted in self-defense. So we have a lot of uh, conflicting stories when it comes to this but let's watch the uh the video let's get to it fair use fair use all right not much there I'm getting in trouble with YouTube. Let's get back to it. All right. Miami police responded to multiple domestic dis call disturbances at couple's apartment over the last three months. A neighbor claiming to have a direct view of the couple's apartment and said he witnessed Oban Sully strike Clemmy about a week before the fatal stabbing. You have also people saying in the New York Post that um, the New York Post saying that people have said that, you know, who have lived, who live next to them say that they've seen her hit him. They've never seen him hit her. So it could be a, just a toxic relationship typical toxic relationship and being an OnlyFans model you know can make that a toxic relationship I cannot tell if it was an open-handed or close-handed but he was swinging at her the unnamed resident told WPLG however a trio who identified themselves as close friends of the couple alleged that social media model was the violent one in the rocket relationship we had never seen her hit him. <clears throat> sorry, I'm sorry. We've seen her hit him. I never seen him hit her, Ashley Vaughn said. From what we've personally experienced between the both of them, we believe that Christian wouldn't put her in a position where she would need to stab him to protect herself. We didn't think this is how far it would have gone, Takeshi Banks said. Even that we really even that we really lost Christian only, it feels like we lost Courtney at the same time. Well, yeah, because she's going to jail too. Either she's going to that mental ward or she is going to prison. Clenny, who has more than 2 million Instagram followers, was hospitalized Sunday over under Florida's Baker Act. The law allows law enforcement judges, doctors, and mental health experts to commit a person to a treatment center for 72 hours if certain violent or suicidal tendencies are displayed. It is unclear if or when she will be released from the hospital. However, new content was added to her OnlyFans page the day after she was detained. While specific details surrounding their relationship remain in question, it does appear that a couple had been together for several years. It's also been said in some reports that, you know, the cops have been called to that place numerous times. 
So uh, there's that too. But men, you know, trying dating these types of women, it, it, it's no, 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 no. You don't date only. Dating an OnlyFans model is basically equivalent to dating a prostitute. It basically is because you have they have to compete. They're in the business of sex, and they have to compete, which means that selling pictures of your toes is not going to cut it when a person is doing full-blown, you know, porn. Their friends said Clenny and Albacelli moved to Miami from Texas a few years back. The group, which reportedly dined and traveled and regularly socialized with the pair, said they are completely distraught over the situation. He was just really high energy, bright, intelligent, and would bring a smile to anyone, Josh Ramsey told WT, WTVJ. These are our two friends we've gone on vacation with, we've gone to dinners with, we go out on the town with them, and it seems like it's straight out of a crime documentary, Ramsey told WTVJ. We would have never have guessed it would have been escalated to this point. I think I speak for the whole group friend group. We were just we're just shocked, very distraught about this, he added. GoFundMe account established in support of Alvin Sully's family was raised to more than 65,000. The account creator said Alvin Sully was killed a week before his 28th birthday, leaving many unanswered questions and creates a void that can never be fixed or filled. That's someone's selfish act ripped Christian away from this world. It's not enough to say we are shocked and hurting. We are utterly devastated. He loves his loved ones wrote. Christian was extremely compassionate with a desire always to uplift those around him. He did not desire for his life to be cut short by a heinous act of violence. We will never forget his infectious smile that could light up any room or his caring spirit. A lot of men think when they date, you know, these OnlyFans models that they are, you know, they've hit the jackpot. They think that they're the man, you know. They think they got the baddest chick in the game, you know. No, no, you don't. You know, you have the baddest chick that anybody, any man can have if he meets her price. That's that's the reality, because this is prostitution. This is prostitution. This is what it is. Now, here's another um, article. Because this is not this is not the first time an OnlyFans model has done this. Fake Barbie OnlyFans model, 23, accused of stabbing beautiful boyfriend, 22, to death at home as she appears in court charged with the young father's murder. 23 years old. Okay. This one was the 28th of March of this year. An OnlyFans model who refers to herself as fake Barbie has appeared in court today charged with the murder with murdering her boyfriend in Bristol. Abigail White of Chipperfield Drive, 23, was put before Bristol magistrates charged with the murder of Bradley Lewis, 22, in Chipperfield Drive, Kingswood. Paramedics were called to the semi-detached property in South Gloucestershire at eight, at around 8.20 p.m. on Friday. Bradley, who introduced, who is understood to be a father of three, was found to have sustained a knife wound to the chest and was rushed to the hospital for urgent treatment. Despite the best efforts of doctors, he died of his wound around six hours later in the early hours of Saturday of March 26th. The 23-year-old defendant and an OnlyFans, I'm sorry, is an OnlyFans model dubbing herself fake Barbie on social media, posting under the pseudonym Mitzi Lewis White's Instagram and Twitter profiles contain semi-nude pictures inviting viewers to subscribe for five USD dollars a month to her OnlyFans account. Appearing totally appearing today in Bristol Magistrates Court, White was wearing a gray sweat top and jogging bottoms. 
She spoke only to confirm her date of birth and address during a four minute hearing at noon today. A charge of murder on March 26th was put to her. She did not enter a plea. May Lee, prosecuting via video link, told magistrates the case can only be dealt with at the Crown Court. She said any application for bail would have also had made the Crown Court and Mark O'Donnell defending occurred, concurred. The presiding magistrate told White, this is an indictable uh, only offense. It must go to the Crown Court. White was remanded in custody pending a possible bail application at Bristol Crown Court on Wednesday, March 30th, and a plea and trial preparation hearing at that venue on April 25th. Bradley devastated family, some of who attend court on Monday, paid tribute to him. They said, oh, our wonderful, much-loved son, Bradley, taken from us too early. A forensic post-mortem examination confirmed Bradley died from a single stab wound to the chest. Bradley's family released a picture of him today alongside a tribute which read, Our wonderful, much-loved son, Bradley, taken from us too early. Detective Inspector Ben Lavender said the investigation is continuing at a pace, and we have a team of officers and police staff working tirelessly to piece together the events which led up to this terrible incident. It's insane, man. He said the victim's family are being updated and fully supported by specifically trained liaison officers. Crime scene investigation work was ongoing on Sunday, the 27th of March, with at least five people entering the address in white overalls and hairnets. Threw his life away, man. Threw his life away. All right. For a woman that... Is still probably going to get attention in prison. She's probably still going to get attention from the guards in prison. Still going to get guards trying to simp for her, trying to risk, um, risk their jobs, even trying to 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 sleep with her. PCSOs guarded the property, confirming that the crime scene is obtained to do within the house, while the garden is not forming any part of the probe. Bradley's father paid a visit to the court on Wednesday, on Sunday afternoon and read tribute notes left on various bunches of flowers. This is sad, man. It really is. The quiet community in the east of Bristol were left shocked and deeply saddened by the lovely young man's passing. In a statement, Hanham Athletic Football Club Pay tribute to their reserve player. Hannon Athletic Football Club are deeply saddened to advise that one of our reserve team players, Brad, Brad Lewis, passed away yesterday. We remembered Brad with the minutes of silence before our fixture yesterday. Our deepest condolences to all of Brad's family and friends. There's nothing much to say here, man. There's nothing much to say. You can't date these type of women. These women are very unstable. These women are only care about themselves. Okay. Courtney, you know, Taylor only cares about herself. She doesn't want to be told what to do. She wants to be Miss Independent. Okay. And doesn't want to sacrifice to be in a, a serious relationship. Being an OnlyFans model, you cannot have a serious relationship. You can't have a relationship with a man who wants to take you seriously because you're not going to willing to take him seriously. A lot of people are delusional. They think they could be OnlyFans models and be good girlfriends or wives. It's it's really sick. And it usually this attracts OnlyFans usually attracts desperate women and women who are 
extremely narcissistic, have mental issues, and it's all about them. Sad to say that one, New York Post did a, a story on this, one in five women, one out of five women are considering OnlyFans due to the pandemic, and they'll be consumed and probably will act out just like this. Because they don't care. They want the attention. They want to get paid. At the same time, they will have this delusion that they think they deserve to be in a relationship. And a man must be okay with them looking like a cheap Happy Meal online. That's how it is. Condolences to the families. Let me know what you think. Do you think a man who is dating an OnlyFans model is simping? Do you think he put his life on the line dating an OnlyFans model? Because you do not know what brought him to that point to be on OnlyFans. You do not know their fa their background, their mental, you know, what they've been through to even want to be on OnlyFans. I, it's the same thing as dating a prostitute. The same thing as dating a porn star. You are dating somebody extremely unstable and desperate and is devoid of reality. If they think that they can actually have, again, a serious relationship and they think they're, they're qualified for one. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Later.